Welcome to another Team Flick tutorial. Today we'll be going over the meetings module in its entirety. In this tutorial video, we'll be going over the following. We'll be covering the meetings module itself, as well as how you can access meetings through the user page, alongside group meetings. So let's start things off with the meetings module. Here we are inside the TeamFlect dashboard. As you can see, our meetings are right here in the middle, easily accessible. And these meetings are synced directly from your Outlook calendar. So you don't have to do anything extra to have them on your TeamFlect dashboard. We can either click on individual meetings or click view all to access all meetings or go to the left side bar and click meetings to access the meetings module. Once we're here, we have two tabs the meetings we have today and the upcoming meetings, as well as past meetings. Right here, we can see all of our meetings today and upcoming. If we click past, we will see all of our past meetings listed up nicely. Right here, we have the option to toggle show only one-on-one -on -one meetings. As a meeting is coming up, TeamFlake will send users an adaptive card where they can add talking points into the meeting right inside Teams chat. Users also have the option to click the See One-on-One -on -one Details button to access the meeting page for this meeting directly. If we head over to the drop-down menu on the right, we can switch from this Agenda view to a Weekly view or a Work Week view. If we hover our mouse over the meeting, we can see that it's a Microsoft Teams meeting. And if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, it will have the sticker next to it. The talking points are right here. And if it's a recurring meeting, it will have the recurrence icon. Now, let's go inside one of these meetings. And inside the meeting page on the left, we can see the previous versions of this meeting. On the bottom left, we can see different tips and resources for this meeting. Right here, we can access the talking points for this meeting. And on the right, we have some talking point suggestions that we can easily add like so. This is where you can also assign durations to each talking point to avoid your meetings running long. You can make talking points invisible make them recurring, or delete them by clicking these icons. If you have necessary files, you can attach them right here. You can also create tasks, give feedback and recognition inside your meetings. And below, you can access shared and private meeting notes. On the right side of the meeting page, we can access the goals of everyone in this meeting. And we can also use this drop-down menu to filter their tasks and their completion rates. We have the latest reviews here and surveys right here. To join the meeting, we need to click right here. Now, let's see how we can access TeamFlect inside an ongoing meeting. We need to click this plus icon and select TeamFlect. If you can't see it there, you can always search for it. Once you click Save, TeamFlect is now up and running inside your ongoing Microsoft Teams meeting. And as you can see, we have the talking points right here. Attachment, tasks, and everything we just saw on the meeting page. We can even create new tasks inside an ongoing meeting. All we have to do is select who the task will be assigned to, give it a title, a description if we have one, a checklist if the task needs it, set a duration, and once we're done, we need to click Create. And as you can see, the task is now right here. To access goals, we need to click See Goals, and once again, we can see each individual goal like so. If 
if you want to go over someone's performance reviews, all we have to do is click present their latest reviews and then select the review we want to present. Now, what you need to know here is that this is not just a shared screen. This is an interactive presentation and both parties can interact with this presentation and make changes on the review itself. This is a great tool if you want to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with the people you had performance reviews with and finalize the review together. Let's leave the meeting for now. We can see that the task we created inside the meeting is now visible right here. If we click this icon, we can send a meeting summary. Or if we click here, we can share the meeting link through email or copy the meeting link. And if we click the ellipses icon, we have the option to print this meeting out or remove it from our meeting list. Now, let's take a look at how we can access meetings through a user page. To do that, we'll be clicking user search and then heading into the profile of a particular user. In this case, we'll be going into Janet's profile. And right here on top of the page, we can see all the one-on-one -on -one meetings we have with Janet. And if we click show more, we can expand and see all the meetings we have. Now we can either enter individual meetings from here, or we can create a new one on one with Janet by clicking here. We have the option to create a meeting that is not synced with Outlook, which is an instant meeting, or one that is synced with Outlook, a scheduled one on one. And let's do just that. Right here, we can see all the available time slots Janet and we share. And once we pick everything, all we need to do is click Schedule. If we want to prepare for a meeting, all we have to do is click Prepare and access the meeting page. Now, let's take a closer look at group meetings. So far, all the meetings we looked at were one-on-ones. Let's see what it's like to be accessing a group meeting. As you can see, this particular meeting has three participants in it. We can see all the participants right here. While the meeting page is very similar, if we go into the goals section of the meeting page, we can switch back and forth between participants to see their individual goal progressions. If we want to view everyone's goals together, we can click show goals and see them all right here. Now, inside an ongoing group meeting, we have the option to present team goals to everyone. Let's do just that. And once again, we have an interactive presentation. Again, this is not screen sharing. We can actually interact with these goals right here and make changes. But that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, never hesitate to contact the TeamFlect support staff. TeamFlect, build teams that deliver.